Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. We are back in the heartlands, in the east, and in between this row of shop houses and the HDB flat is the next place we are going to. Because the place has, they have this, and definitely this, and this place is famous for this, and simple food like this. So join me at Bedok South Food Centre and Market for these foods. Let's go! Let's start with how to get there. We are now at Bedok MRT station and we're heading towards exit B. So once you get out of the gantry, you head straight and you'll see the escalator going down. So what you do is you take the escalator and go down. It's as simple as that. Really, it's just as simple as that. So take the escalator down until you reach the bottom and then Continue walking straight. Yep, continue walking straight until you reach the end of the corridor. When you reach the end of the corridor, what you do? You turn right. Okay, on your left here, this is exit C. Exit C will take you to Bedok Mall, which is which you can actually go to the interchange from there, but this will be a more direct route. So you keep walking past the exit C entrance. And then once you reach the end of the corridor here, you turn right. And guess what? Another flight of escalators going up. So what are you going to do? Take the escalator up. Until you reach the top. And this is exit B. The exit that we're looking for. Okay, so get out of the exit. And on your right, you see there's a, the main road. Directly in front of you is actually a bus stop But this is not where we are going to take the bus from We are going to the Berto Bus Interchange To take the bus Where is the Berto Bus Interchange? Well, just keep heading straight ahead Yep, in front of us is actually the uh, Berto Interchange Food Centre Which we will cover that real soon There's a lot of good food there But anyway so you see these uh, statues, so you just keep walking straight, walk past the statues. Okay, and then you turn left. Okay, as you turn left, you see an escalator going up. This is the escalator that I want you to take to go up. Because once you go up the escalator, and you reach the top of the escalator, do you know what you will find? You will find the Bedok Bus Interchange. And this is where we're going to take the bus. Okay, so basically, uh, when you are at the bus interchange, you need to know which bus you're going to take. So the bus we're going to take is either bus number 38 or 229. Okay, you can actually look at the, uh, the TV there, but let's go back a bit and look at the signboard. So as you can see, bus 38 is at berth B6 and bus 229 is at berth B8. Okay, so uh, after you look at the signboard, what you do is you look at the TV screen. The TV screen will tell you when the bus is coming. So since we have the bus is at, at two different berths, so as you see here, the bus here is coming at 12.25 um, and now it's uh, 12.19. Okay, and now let's wait for bus 229. Okay, bus 229 comes is 12.31 So, the earliest timing is coming is at bus 38 which is at uh, berth B6 So we'll just head there and wait for the bus Okay, there is number 38 Also, a few things you need to take note of Okay, uh, bus 38 is a more direct route You will get reach your bus uh, stop in 3 stops Where else, uh, bus 229 You will take a bit of roundabout route around the interchange before it heads direct heads to Bedok South Road. So this one is around uh, six bus stops from the bus interchange. And here is the bus uh, stop itself. 
the bus stop is actually opposite Temasek JC bus stop. Okay, as you can see, this bus stop is directly opposite Temasek JC or Temasek Junior College. Okay, so as you're heading down the road, this is Bedok South Road. You will see uh, across the road is this uh, Junior College. So press the button and stop. Okay, so this is the stop you are looking for. Okay, so and this is a uh, main uh, entrance of Temasek Junior College. And this is the Junior College itself. As you can see from the name on the wall. And they also have a rock climbing wall. Okay, so this is the bus stop. So once you get down from the bus, you head straight down this uh, cover walkway and you head all the way down, you reach Block 16 um, Bedok South Food Center. This is the place. Okay, so this is where we're going to go in here. We're going to try a lot of the food here. And there's one very famous stall that sells uh, fried kway teow. And this is a very famous store. There's always a long queue for the store. And I've eaten it before and it's really, really good. One of my top five uh, favorite uh, Chao Kui Tells in Singapore. Okay, and this is the uh, Bedok South Food Center. Okay, and let's see, let's see what food they have. And here is the store I was talking about, my favorite uh, Chao Kui Tell shop. Okay, so basically how what you do is you go in the, go in the queue uh, the, someone will come up and ask you for your order like this lady here and you just tell her what you want okay so you have a uh, fried kway teow the name of the shop is hill street fried kway teow okay so basically you just tell her what you want like for what i did here i ordered a uh, fried kway teow uh, three dollars or four dollars i ordered the four dollar one and with chili and here it is so this is the chai kway teow itself it's a bit mushy but the bean sprouts is cooked perfectly still nice and crunchy and the smell coming up from this cha kway teow is so intense that you know and you can smell this is cooked very nice it's cooked very well it's a bit sweet and savory and then there's lots and chunks lots and lots of pork lard inside there so once you're eating it you can feel the crunch of the pork lard you know and then look at it it's a bit dryish also and it's just a very very good plate of chao kway teow. The only issue I have is that previously, first time I ate this chao kway teow, it was cooked by the uh, original uncle. And I, if I remember correctly, the chao kway teow itself was much better than this. But overall, this is still a very good plate of chao kway teow. Well fried, very tasty and very delicious. Okay, next up is actually a, we are going to look at this shop called Warong Java. Okay, basically like a typical Malay uh, food store. They actually serve a variety of food besides Nasi Lemak, which is, which is what I'm going to order. They also have uh, Mee Rebos, Mee Siam, Lontong. These are all very typical Malay dishes that you can get in any Malay stores. Most of the stalls will sell this basic basic set of food. So if you do come to Singapore or go to any food court, you see a Malay stall, 90% of them will be selling this the, this particular set of foods. And so here is the nasi lemak that I ordered. Okay, basically the rice is nice. It's a bit coconutty. Only thing is, it's a bit uh, dry. But the chicken wing is nicely seasoned. Only thing is that it's a bit cold. If it was freshly cooked, I think the chicken would be much nicer. Then we have the uh, fish, and then we have omelette and cucumber. The fish itself is okay, just that I don't like don't like this type of fish because the fish is very small and then there's a lot of bones in it. But the star of the show is this sambal chili. This sambal chili is very flavorful. When you bite to it, it's full of flavor. It's slightly sweet. Actually, not really slightly sweet. It's actually, a bit sweet because which is not very really usual uh, for the sambal but it goes very well with the rice super goes very well with the rice overall not too bad a nasi lemak unfortunately when i'm trying to when i want to film the store or this shop called ena the shop itself uh, was closed but i actually came went there a few days earlier to 
order the dish from this place. This place here have a very uh, has an Indonesian dish called nasi ambing. Basically, it's a platter of food. Okay, you can have it eat it for one person, or you can have it for two person, four person, eight people, and then they will scale up the food uh, into a big platter according to how many people are eating it. Okay, so basically, what you it basically comes with is this acha, which is uh, pickled vegetables, and then you have uh, bean sprouts here, which was slightly raw. It's actually slightly raw, and then we have a uh, uh, tauhu. I mean a uh, uh, bean curd and long bean in the curry sauce and the beef rendang which was okay and this uh, fruits acha be careful of that because they actually use bird eye chilies which is super spicy and then normally it's served with burgadil which is like a some kind of um, potato nugget but uh, at the time I went there they ran out so they replaced it with the sotong uh, sambal sotong and with a omelette which the sambal sotong was very delicious. Overall, some of the dish is better than the others, but what this place is famous because this particular dish only costs you six Singapore dollars, and it can fill you for the next for the whole day, which is very worth it. Next shop is the Bedok South Niuji Prawn Noodles, which there's always a queue for this uh, noodles itself. I've tried the noodles. The noodles, the bean sprouts is uh, ordinary. The pork slices and the prawn is, I think, overcooked. So the sh ingredients itself is very ordinary. You know, factory made, factory bought, factory cooked. But what is really, really good about this dish that people line up for is the soup. The stock where they cook the soup in. It's really 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 good okay i think what they do is they cook it with a lot of pork bones and then the pork shell i mean the the prawn shell and they cook it overnight or for a long period of time to infuse this soup with all the flavor and that's why it's so delicious the soup itself is ooh, very good even though the other dishes were just ordinary anyway this is the burdock south food center I hope you enjoyed your tour here. If you like what you see, please like, share and subscribe. And you know what to do. Join me for my next episodes when I go to other places to enjoy more food. Anyway, bye-bye.